Hiya, welcome back. So today I have um, another soup that I'm going to make. I pretty much only like three types of soup, me personally, so this will be the last one that I um, will show. Um, and I ordered online um, a bacon hock and uh, I obviously didn't get to choose it and I got one that is this big, it's massive. So I'm going to make my bacon hock, hock soup but I'm going to double it because this is so big um, and then I'll freeze some as well. So I'm going to get started on this and I'm going to keep it um, for, uh, simmering in the pot for a few hours today. Um, and it's Saturday and I'm going to head outside and do some garden work. So I'm going to get it sorted, put it in the pot and uh, get it simmering and leave it to it basically. So here's my basic recipe. Um, as you probably already figured out by now, I do chop and change things as I need to. Um, but that's what my basic idea is. So I'll get those vegetables sorted and uh, start the process. Okay, so my basic ingredients are carrots, a couple of onions, a couple of lots of garlic, and celery. Um, we got a big celery uh, from the supermarket the other day, and it was so massive, but I just chopped it all up and put it in a, in a, in a bag to keep it fresh. And I'll keep that in the fridge and try and use it as much as I can. And then um, veggie stock. Um, I don't know where this came from, but someone must have left it at my house. But I'm going to make that into four cups of veggie, some of that into four cups of veggie stock. And then two tins of tomato. Okay. And then my basic flavourings that I use all the time. Now you can use whatever flavourings you like. I love the flavour, those flavours, I've probably got used to them as well. But chop and change with whatever it is that you want to put in there that tastes nice for you and your taste buds. So I'm going to chop those things up and get them all ready, and then I'm going to start the process. Okay, so <clears throat> I've prepared all my veggies ready, because as soon as I start this I want to, I want to go pretty quick. So they're all chopped. I've chopped them um, nicely. Um, because they're not, I'm not going to puree or blend this, whereas in my pumpkin soup I just chop them pretty rough because I'm going to blend it, but this time I'm not. So um, I've got my bacon hock here and I've just patted it dry. I have my oil pretty hot in the pan. I'm going to chuck this in and I'm going to sear it. This smells pretty delicious. Sear it on both sides so that it kind of, kind of makes this fat. Um, so in that goes into the pot, i uh, just got my big saucepan here, so I'll let that um, go pretty hot and just sear, um, it kind of goes brown on both sides, then I'm going to chuck in my onions, my garlic, my celery and my carrots and let them sizzle in the hot oil too, and then my stock will go in after that. And I forgot to mention before that I also put pearl barley into um, this soup, um, this is real cheap. Uh, soup um, stock that you can buy at the supermarket. You could add rice if you wanted to, you could add pasta, you could add um, any other grain. You could also add lentils. Um, I personally don't like the taste of lentils, so um, that's not going in. You could do beans or chickpeas as well. All of these are just things that bulk it out and make it go, go further. Um, you can now see in here that that's sizzling, I'll let that do its thing, and then I'll flip it over. Okay, so you can see that I've seared that on the first side and I'm flipping it over, and um, I've already flipped it over, sorry, I've done the other side too. I'll just put it on the end there, and then I'll chuck all my veggies in here uh, to sizzle in the soil as well, and get them cooking through before I put the stock in. If only you could smell how good this is. Bacon, celery, onion and garlic, it's just divine. Um, so I've let them sizzle a little bit in the oil. Now I'm going to chuck in my carrots as well. And let that go for a bit. I don't know if you can see, but down there you will see that there's like when I did the bacon, some of it stuck to the bottom of the pan. And when I put the stock in, that'll come off and that'll just be really, really yum. Uh, there, you, there it is there. That's 
why I sear it. And it also means that this fat here doesn't go all, um, gets a whole lot of nice flavouring on it that it releases into the soup as well. Okay, so the onions and the celery have cooked down nicely, nice and soft, and it's smelling delicious. In goes my uh, stock. I'm starting off with four cups, but I may add some more later on, just to see how it goes. I do want the bacon hock to be mostly covered because all that meat's going to cook really tenderly and fall off that bone. That's what you're looking for. And then I've got two cans of tomatoes and they go as well. I, um, I'll let this cook for a bit, but I will need to taste it just to see whether or not I need to add any salt, um, extra salt and pepper. But I will add in my... My paprika, my cumin, my herbs and my turmeric, my normal four. And I'm going to add in half to a cup of pearl barley as well. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients in there. Um, it's looking pretty good. And uh, basically I'm going to let that come to the boil, which is close already. And then I will um, put it on to simmer. And just check it every 20-30 minutes or so, give it a stir. I'll add more water if I need to, I'll taste it, but other than that, um, dinner just cooks itself, ready to go. I don't know if you can see what it looks like, but it smells delicious, and uh, I'll give you updates of what it looks like every half an hour, hour or so, because it does change over time. Okay, so it's been about half an hour, and as you can see that that's thickening up really nicely. And the meat's starting to come off a little bit. I'm just going to turn this bacon hock over so that it gets um, cooking on the other side as well. And leave it for another half an hour to, uh, to thicken up. Oh man, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm checking on this again. And as you can see, that pearl barley is all... Oh, fluffed up and thickening up really nicely you can see that the meat is starting to come off the bone like that and I'll just uh, help it along a little bit by pushing some of it off and I think I could potentially add a little bit more liquid just depending on whether or not um, this is going to start to get too thick when I take that meat off but I'll just turn this bone over again and man this is looking so good Okay, so I've turned the bone over and you will see that there's this um, skin flap here and here. Um, I don't particularly like the taste of those, but um, other people do. I might take that out and um, potentially I could fry it up or crisp it up. It's kind of like the crack clean if I wanted to. Or you could just leave it in. Up to you. Okay, so I've had this uh, simmering for or bubbling for probably two or three hours now and as you can see that that meat is just falling off the bone. Uh, because this was quite a big bacon hock, um, potentially I need to keep it going for a little bit longer just so that I get all of that, look at that yummy meat. Um, I've also added a bit more water. Uh, you can see there, most of it's come off the bone. Um, I'll just keep it going for a little bit longer. But uh, I'm just, this is a meal in itself really. Um, I'm going to serve it tonight with the hamburger buns that I made yesterday. But otherwise I spent about oh, maybe 10, 20 minutes this morning or well, lunchtime making this and it's been cooking all on its own. And that's uh, dinner ready with very little cost, very little effort, but beautifully yummy tasting. So... Um, if you want to uh, watch um, the one I did about the hamburger buns yesterday, then I do post up on Facebook, but probably your best bet is to go to YouTube and um, subscribe. There's that yummy meat. And if you click the notification button as well, then, um, then you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Yum-o. Okay, so you know, I know this is ready when uh, the bone looks like that. So I'm going to pull them out and the skin 
and I'm going to serve this up. Dinner is ready. So I've taken the bones out and as you can see this is full of uh, loads of meat. I've left the big chunks in there. There's also lots of uh, little bits as well. That there is like, I don't know if you can see the true colour or not. That is a good meal.